All right, everyone, we're going to be playing this game. This is the police, and we're going to try to make episodes in here. So we're going to be playing the story mode. Hopefully, you guys will like it and follow us in here. Um, not sure if we're going to do one episode per week or two episodes per week, but you can let me know in the comment section below. All right. So if you guys like this, uh, definitely subscribe in here and turn the notification on so you won't miss whenever we start um, producing more episodes in here. All right, everybody, let's do it. Story mode. I'm super excited. This is a new game. You can get it from the App Store. New game. Usually, before I go shaking my tits for the press, I like to go see how the professionals do it. Some might say the chief of police has no business in an institution like this. But in fact, it's the quietest and safest place in town. You won't run into any reporters. Nobody gets into any fights. Nobody drinks too much. Nobody even raises their voice. The place is owned by an elderly gentleman who knows how to keep things under control. That's why I never invite my friends here. I wanted to make an exception for my 60th birthday, but most of my colleagues are young enough to be my sons, and they'd rather just hire prostitutes. Why stare at some boobs when you can take the whole package for yourself? But there's none of that in our club. Even looking too long is considered indecent. You can get an occasional glimpse, like by accident. The rest of the time you just pretend that you're immersed in conversation, or just come by for a drink. Doesn't mean these gentlemen wouldn't want their bald heads smothered in tits. It's just that nobody says it out loud. My younger colleagues might call it hypocrisy, but I call it the good old-fashioned manners. Good manners and leave the rest unsaid. She agrees to unbutton her blouse, and we agree not to pay too much attention. The girls are on a quiet prowl, too. They're looking for a way out of their cramped rooms. Maybe make friends with some wealthy patron with a pacemaker and dentures. Everybody wants something. But we have to control ourselves, or we'll all turn into libertines and prostitutes. Hell, if there weren't any rules, I'd be belching and farting, jumping up on the table, arms held high, yelling, Shake it, baby! No idea how I got so barbaric. All right, Mayor Roger, sex maniac. Mm, not good, not a good headline there. City Hall confirms the rumors of Jack Boyd's resignation. Mark War II to be shown in Freeburg the day before the worldwide premiere by the mayor's personal request. Okay, so this is very important information, I assume. Let's go to work. Here we go. won't start. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, when I was a kid, my father sometimes told me at bedtime that if I closed my eyes and didn't open them for a long time, all the demons would blow away. Yesterday I turned 60, but I still take his advice. Not because I'm sentimental or want to keep the memory of my father alive. I just can't think of a better solution. To get away from all the demons that haunt Freeburg, I'd need to wear a blindfold 24-7. Plus, it's a good idea to act blind when talking to reporters. At least that's what my colleagues say. They're afraid of press conferences. But for me, it's more like a confessional. No matter what lies you tell, you're privately thinking the honest answers. It helps me remember who I am. The fact that I'll be reading all about it in the papers tomorrow is a small price to pay. Call it penance for the preacher. That sounds so realistic, wow. This is the first time I'm afraid of those answers my mind has given me. Not because I'm mad I'm losing my job. Though it's true, I'm mad as hell. Not because I subconsciously blame everyone else. Though I damn sure do blame them. God, this guy's And don't mad. even ask me what my next move is. I can't imagine. But even that doesn't scare me. 
The worst thing is, I know I'm gonna have to do something. I'll be damned if I know how far I'll go. Hmm. I may have a lot of vices, but predictability isn't one of them. I learned a long time ago how to drive away the swarming demons. But what do you do when they're trying to rip your soul from your skin? I don't know. Shutting my eyes tight as I can. <laughs> the best solution remains the same. Play blind. I just hope the reporters think I was blinded by the camera flash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nah. Hmm. Okay, good morning. Uh, the mayor's office officially announced your resignation. Did this come to, uh, as a surprise, or did you know about it in advance? Mm. Let's see. I've been expecting this bullshit from the mayor. <laughs> What's the difference? The mayor discussed it with me. We can be civil in here, and we can say surprise. I'm surprised that I'm getting... Yeah, you know what? Probably not, because he came over here. So, assume that the mayor discussed it with me. All right. Mayor Rogers told me that once a fresh face running Freebird PD. So no, I didn't come in a surprise, okay? Do you already know the name of your successor? Uh, whew. I think it'll be a department veteran. Who cares? I think it's a new man. Maybe it's a veteran. It has to be a veteran, whoever's gonna re replace me, right? After the recent corruption scandal, your deputy Francis Kendrick said he was looking forward to resigning. If the mayor offered him your position, would that change his mind? Huh. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know what? So I say I'd be happy. Wait, why did I just say that? Uh, uh, I don't know. Alright, so I think it's hard to say, but I can't think of more deserving candidate than Captain Kendrick. Okay, cool. We're playing it cool. Oh, um, although Kendrick was acquitted, uh, many still believe that the police are cooperating with the Mafia. Oh, wow. Do you have anything to say about this? Um, what is it? No comment. Bullshit. I don't know. Let's act like we're blind in here. I don't know. I don't know if this is a good answer. Do you think your personal relationship with the mayor could be the reason behind your retirement? Um, how should I know? How should I know? You better ask him, yeah. Alright, adios. How's the back today, Mr. Boyd? Same as usual. How did the press conference go? You can read about it in the newspapers tomorrow. Yeah. Don't let anyone in. Even Mr. Kendrick? Especially Mr. Ooh, Kendrick. Ooh, he actually hates Mr. Kendrick. This seems so realistic, man. It's a comic style. The sound effects is so good. Wow, I can't believe this is a mobile game. As soon as I heard the door creak, I knew what face I'd see. When I tell Emma not to let anyone in, there's only one man it could be. Rude, arrogant, no warning. That's Mayor Rogers in a nutshell. Mm. White summer shoes, white socks, white shorts, white polo shirt, and the white smile of a hungry shark. He's got no Mayor face. Mayor Rogers enters every room like he owns the place. Even the floorboards under his feet sound like they're creaking an apology. <laughs> he never shied away from the odd corruption scheme. It's like the devil walks behind him. In the movies, the villains controlling the city play golf with the judges. Rogers plays tennis with them instead. That's about the only difference. Jack, I was hoping to catch you after the press conference. You, uh, you ran away so quick. There's no smoking at City Hall. No reason for me to hang around. Well... This morning, I signed a ban on smoking in all public buildings. Soon, you won't be able to smoke here, either. Jesus. <laughs> Soon enough, I won't be here at all. If that's what I wanted to talk <laughs> to you about. The people of this city like you, Jack. The police chief, of all people. <laughs> don't, uh, 
Don't betray that, Jack. Don't get wrapped up in any schemes. Sit Try nice and quiet for the next 180 days, and, uh, and you'll be remembered as a hero. That's the only thing that you still have left. Be the hero. Then how am I supposed to scrape together a retirement fund? You had a million chances to secure a luxury pension, one that even I would have envied, although I've never set aside any money for myself. I'm not planning to retire anytime soon. Oh, damn, he just took my cigar. Mayor's a douchebag. 180 days of quiet, Jack. That's all I need. I don't have any problems with you, and you won't have any problems with me. I have a new assistant, Troy Starr. If you have something to tell me, call him. But try not to bother him. He's a he's a busy man. <laughs> I'll do my best. And quit smoking up the office. One of my friends will be using it soon. Oh wow. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry, babe. Only the mayor has this number. Mr. Mayor? Yeah, is this Troy Star? Yes. Go fuck yourself, Troy Star. <laughs> what the hell? All right, day two. Head of the culture department owns villa in Italy. Oh, wow. Um, civil servant wages won't be raised this year. That's not good. Jack Boyd confirms police cooperation with the mafia. Ooh, I did that. That's not good. Let's go to work. Cops don't use the police station cafeteria anymore. There's some kind of stigma against sitting shoulder to shoulder with your partners. Everybody just takes snacks from the machines or grabs a meal and hammers it down in the corner like a vulture on a corpse. The main thing, don't look into anyone's eyes. Could be construed as an invitation to sit together. The only people eating here are ghosts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a sad place. My deputy, Francis Kendrick, he recently became one of those ghosts. The subject of one of the most devastating corruption scandals in the history of Freeburg. No evidence to support the accusations, but everyone knows Kendrick's days are numbered. I need that file I asked for. Needs to be ready tonight. Francis didn't say anything, but I understood. Ghosts aren't supposed to talk. Besides, I got a feeling he was already finished. What if he's actually a good guy? Alright, what is this? Would you like to receive tips about the game? Yes! Uh, I'm a 6 year police chief uh, a few months away from retirement. I don't need anyone telling me how to do my job. No, show me. Show me what you've got. Alright, let's start the day. How does this thing work? I got a SWAT. Uh, the day is going by. Responding to calls is the bread and butter of the police work. You'll need to send your officers to crime scenes before their timer expires. So it can be like a very difficult mission. So it says here that sometimes it could be also fake, you know, false alarm. And sometimes when I mean, you first glance, it can be pretty easy, but it actually can be a, you know, brutal meat grinder. So our mission right now is a hit and run. A married cop likes to come in a store and saw a van in the parking lot. Um, back over a homeless man who has been digging through the trash can. The driver jumped out and helped. But once he saw that he'd hit a bum, they got back into the van quickly drove away. Oh, kind of interesting. All right, let me dispatch Kochi. And it seems like this is going to be an easy job anyway. Let's put Asano in here. All right, let's proceed. Looks like it's an easy task. They're gonna have to go all the way here. I wonder if I can zoom in. Right, okay, last picture. Okay, what is this one? Um, 
theater manager reports that during the showing of the Citizen Crown, okay, drunk man attempted to force his way into the theater. Uh, oh, that's not good. When he was denied entry, he finally attacked the cashier and currently fighting with the theater security guard. Oh, that's not good. We gotta put good guys in here. Alright, there we go. I don't really want to send this guy. I just really want to sack him off in the force. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is very interesting. Oh, so here's my cash. What is this one? Okay, I could resume. Okay, never mind. It's raining. Hit and run report. Uh, when everything goes well, the police capture the criminals and nobody dies. But the truth is, sometimes the criminal match escape. Just try to avoid any dead cops or civilians. Dead couple hurt the roster, and dead citizens uh, bother the mayor even more than living ones. Interesting. Okay. Nice. Caught unharmed. All right. So it's just kind of like a waiting game. All right. What happened in here? Offender caught. There we go. How I earn like cash in here. Alright, so who can I send out? What is this? Is this armed robbery? Uh, it's teenagers. These are kids. The criminals fled in a car, but the store manager wrote down the car's license plate to owner is Janet Brown, who lives in the suburb. Okay, I think this can be done by, by our police officers. So we don't need SWAT for this one. Um, we don't do separate them up there. All right, so this guy is a very good job for Officer Price. That's a good job for him. He can handle that, I think. It's a lot of waiting game in here. Political views unknown, so you can see the political views. The SWAT doesn't really have any information. Four twelve in progress. Ghetto. What is it? Assault. A passerby saw some teenagers attack an elderly musician or no oh, come on kids. Wait, this thing takes a lot more officers. What the hell? We'll do some mixed officers in here. There we go. Mix good and uh good and meh. Officer uh when your cops aren't like sure to proceed, they might contact you and ask you to handle the situation. Try to deal with whatever comes up. Wow. But don't waste all your time on this stuff. You'll have plenty of other problems on your plate. Okay. Um, the question in the vehicle is parked right outside the Browns residence. The sound of moaning and loud laughter can be heard through the living room. Mm. Open up police, turn your sirens to loudspeakers and shout the house is surrounded. No, okay. I think we can just enter the, enter this, uh, you know, open up police. Yeah, I made the right decision in here, guys. There we go. It's pretty fun. Pretty interesting. I wonder what's, you know, in store for us next. All right, the price. Ah, you suck! Price, come on, man. I gotta have to sack you off the force, man. Price, you got some issue. Disappointed. Truly disappointed. I, I don't know about the storyline yet. Okay, let's take a look. Offender caught. Man, I'm pretty good at this one, huh? I'm not sending Price no more out here. Screwing things up. There we go, end of the day. No more, no more crimes. Come on, man. Please don't sleep. All right, end the day. If you think you'll need a couple extra hands tomorrow, you can order any cup to come in and work overtime. But if they're working flat out, they'll be much more exhausted. Um, somebody's bound to make a mistake. Gotcha. So price is definitely out. I don't know why this guy is like tired. Um, what about my shift A? Oh, okay, so I got my shift A. In here. So they're pretty fresh right now. So we're just gonna use our shift A. They could shift B can definitely rest. I wonder if how can I like hire more, you know, more police in here. Oh, wow, this guy's pretty good. Four hundred stars. So let's end the day. I think I'll be working with shift A tomorrow. Used to be when I asked Kendrick to stay late at the office, he liked to grumble and crack wise. Nowadays, he doesn't have the strength for it. That's sad. Slumped shoulders, blank stare, wrinkled skin. The past few weeks, I don't hardly recognize my old friend. 
In his younger years, he reminded me of a gallant royal officer in an old Kipling story. Kendrick isn't just crumbling under the weight of the public pressure, but from the shame of it all. Internal Affairs raided the library he inherited from his grandfather, hoping they'd find buckets of cash stashed in the pages. Heard about the look on his face. The fearless policeman standing helpless in horror. I feel like he's a good guy. I've known Francis for 30 years. The past 20 years, he's played loose with the law. And I know that at a certain point, every stolen dollar brings more misery than anything else. Probably sounds crazy, but I sympathize with the guy. What can I do? Your friends are your friends, and these are the waters we swim in. Called all of the people on that list today. Now they know you're in business. So you could get a call from any of them. You don't need to worry about any of them. I've cleared them all. And what kind of business are we talking here? It's nothing too serious, just like you asked. Should be just a few small favors. Payments will vary depending on the situation and who you're dealing with. Hmm, How sketchy. much are you looking to earn? Half a million. Half a million? Why not a whole million? Because yeah. everybody wants to take a million. Figured I'd try something different. <laughs> what? Half a million in 180 days? Well, you could earn it all above board if you netted all the big fish and hit all your bonuses. Never knew you for a fisherman. Well, you never got into my business, and I'm not trying to get into yours. But be careful about bringing in any other cops. Sooner or later, they'll put the finger on you. Huh. And, and one more thing, Jack. I remember what you said, but I should probably add one more name to that list. Christopher Sand. Oh, this Sand. Christopher Sand. Christopher G. Sand. Hmm. Everyone knows the name, but few could tell you who he is. The old man stays away from the spotlight. Always wears old-fashioned jeans and knitted sweaters. Gives to charity. Rarely attends social events. An avid hunter, I hear. Even dabbles in poetry. You'd never guess he's the head of the oldest and most powerful gang in the city. Wow. Goes back as far as his great-grandfather. And Sand is strict about following the old rules. He rarely involves himself in commonplace murders and robberies. Hardly needs to intimidate anyone to get his point across. The people who work for him each have their sphere. They provide protection where needed, even work with the authorities when they want to make a deal. Meanwhile, Sand pulls the strings without getting his hands dirty. People sometimes mistake his quiet approach. A couple years ago, an arms dealer decided to expand its business without asking permission, and his whole family paid the price. Oh, wow. In four weeks, Sand killed 31 Damn. people. Old men, women, even a few teenagers. And Sand's people made sure every paper reported it. Frank, I don't want to hear you say that name again. Jack, please, listen to me. I'm in with these guys. We agreed, Frank. That's not the kind of business I'm into. Okay, so he's bad. I don't go there. <laughs> never have, never will. So he is bad. Huh. Day three. Okay. Francis Kendrick announces retirement date. Construction of Cinema Museum postponed again. Legendary singer uh, comes to Freeburg. Okay. Man, this car, we need a better car. Half a million dollars would get me a new car. So, when a police officer is too tired, so sometimes they're going to make some excuses in here. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be far-fetched. You guys can read through this if you guys want. Um, don't overindulge yourself with ordinates, uh, but don't antagonize them either. Everybody got secrets, and you've got to make sure these guys have your back. Yes, true. So... Um, in addition to their performance rating, police officers also possess rank. Okay. And employees begin with the lowest rank and they'll be elevated with one or two, three stripes. Once a week, you can pass out stripes to improve their rank. And oh wow, I can do that. That's pretty legit. If you think that one is worthy and honor some week, you can postpone the ceremony until later. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, insignias won't go until your people are ready. That's cool. This guy has one stripe. 
Oh, okay. I'm giving him another stripe here. Okay, cool. Um, not only increase the professionalism, but also learn to command. Whenever ranking officers in this on the scene, his or her colleagues are more likely to perform better. Okay. Sometimes when the cops gets ranked, they start thinking more seriously about their service. Um, this can mean less drinking and more spending time on the job. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Some of them might even turn out to be dependable. Okay, I like that. Um, who else can I give out my rank in here? Let me see. So I just click this and click him. Or do I drag it here? Oh, you drag it. But I kind of want to get more information about this guy. But he seems like a pretty legit one. I can give him one here. It's two stars now. Or, sorry, two stripes. <laughs> two stars. Um, who else should we promote? Maybe I should promote somebody later. All right, actually, I need one more. Let me pick this guy, 160. Or can I give it to Beasley? I don't know. All right, so now I got two um, promoted police officer. I feel like we're gonna get copyrighted in here on YouTube. I hope we don't, we'll see. Learn how to hire and fire cops. What's going on? Okay. All right, so in here we can hire uh, police officers. Uh, maybe I'll put on V-shift for now. I want to free up so far somebody to proceed. Okay, you are fired. Um, fire illegally. Is, uh, fire illegally. Too old. Fill three assignments in a row. He's too old. Okay, he's gone. He's too old. Close it up. Alright. I'm I don't like the song. Alright, nice. Let's resume this. Alright, so what is going on in here? Vandalism. That's uh, a pretty easy job. I think our lower officers can handle this. It shouldn't be a that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, I guess, uh, where's my guy in here? Oh, he's in the shift B. Uh, looking out the window, saw two teenagers scr scratching offensive slogans into his new car. Ooh, okay. What kind of car is it? Um, we'll put, I don't want to put my best officer in, out here. Um, Roy is still here. I thought he had fired him already. And then we'll put, I might have to fire this guy too. I think I'm gonna have to put Roy with the best, best officer, so maybe he can do better. All right, so the report is done. We got another suspicious individual. Um. Oh wow, this is okay. We gotta make sure we have the best officer in here. Ooh, I can put Roy and like, kind of like, accidentally die on the scene or something. Mm, we'll see. I hope my best officer don't get killed though. All right, what happened here? Man, escaped? Okay, we suck. Good job, everybody. I gotta keep track of who's failing in here as well, so I can sack them off the job. I'll be the worst boss. I'll be the worst boss. I want to be able to use my SWAT, man. Where am I gonna be able to use him? Ah, uh, just say can retired officer Frank Nero for the fugitive questions. Okay, that sucks. Nightclub. Um, I think we can just send him. It's a pretty easy job. Day's almost over. Clown carrying balloons and escaping and selling crack to teenager. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. This guy might be dangerous. Um, we'll put two of our best officers in here. Oh my god, what happened? Sorry, Chief, but I quit. Hmm. In one night, I pulled in more cash than I earned in a month working at this dump. 
Oh wow. Okay, I guess I lost one. That's a lot of money. Thank you. Four eleven in progress. Naked man carrying canister of gasoline that drives himself to set on fire with his favorite chewing gum. It becomes popular again. What? That's kind of weird. Um, let's hit a good officer in here. We don't want him killing himself here. I need to get, I need to get rid of these guys, man. I need to get rid of them. There gotta be some crime in here where I can send them and they can accidentally die on the scene or something. <laughs> Officer Drug here. sales. Like uh, as police arrive, a clown is making balloon animals for the kids. So carefully watch a clown from the stand. Take the clown to the ice and round up any witness. Cover up raincoats and pretend to be an illicit customer. You know what? That might be interesting. Uh, I think we should just be watching afar, but like, let's let's test this out. If that thing 11, works out. 11. Oh yes, that's a good decision. Damn, I'm so good at this one. I'll be a good cop. Seriously. Alright, what happened here? Awesome. Alright, that's it. Day 3. The end. Awesome. Alright guys, if you guys want to see more of this content, let me know in the comment section below. And we are definitely going to try to do more episodes of this. Alright, see you guys. Bye.